What about the use of electric instruments? Has that made my life change a great deal? Oh, yes, uh, considerably, because, uh, you know, to amplify, you see, to amplify a song uh, tries, you know, changes uh, everything, even tonation, like this. Amplification can change your natural tone and everything. So it's considerably changing, you see, uh, the pattern. <laughs>
Times when you play your rhythm well, the rhythm attracts a foreigner, and he will like your music, though he doesn't understand the words. The rhythm, as well as the lyrics, can change a man, can let a man move, have emotional feelings in a man. And so we hope to better the rhythm rather than changing. The if I say I will tell you where her life started, it means I'm going to, you know, lie. But what I heard from my predecessors is that the word her life came about when our local musicians started to play with the box guitar. I play a particular brand of her life, but I play, you see, um, all kinds of her life. Uh, normally, what I hate to do is to compose a song uh, and let it seem the same. What I mean is, when you hear about 10 of my songs, they will have different interpretation, different rhythms and all that, you see. But I, I wouldn't say there's a, a very particular thing about my life. The only particular thing is, uh, almost all my songs are very philosophical. students at the University of Lagos and the tune struck me so I started to sing about curfew uh, which is imposed on the people of Ghana during this revolution. There was a student in the audience who was very moved with my performance so I, I felt he, he had a special you see, love for me, I called this boy and asked of his name. He, he, he told me it's called Abu Aji. So I began with a song that uh, Abu Aji, I'm going to sing about you, about the curve you love. One evening, we were chatting nicely, and before we were aware, Kefi was about to eat him up. Uh, I asked Abuagi to spend the night with me, but he said he has to go back before the Kefi hours. So what should I do? I had to give him my car. So Abuagi went with the car. She met a girl, Abuagi picked her up, and they were chatting along the road. And what I said was, uh, Abuaji was so unlucky that since he came of age, he's never won a, a girlfriend before. So uh, as they were going along, uh, he didn't have the idea to talk of love to this girl because he knew that it might fail. So when he reached Legon Junction, he told the girl that uh, you will come down. Uh, I'm, this is the place I think I, I can help you to drop. Abana 
So the next day, he was in classroom when he had a call that a visitor was waiting outside. He went and found it was the girl. So he went to the room with the girl. Uh, the girl had prepared a nice and delicious meal for him. They enjoyed together and they had conversation. It was about 8 o'clock and Abu Aji reminded the girl that, look, Yesterday it was curfew. I do, I, we don't want to repeat it today. There's no car to take you anywhere you want. And the girl said, no, today <laughs> it's me <laughs> eating into the curfew myself. So I'm not going. I'm sleeping here with you tonight. And so through that, Abaji engaged the girl and married her. <laughs> I'm very proud and happy to become a musician. I feel I must work hard because I've got a lot to do by, you know, speaking in terms of music to the people to change the characters of the bad ones, see, to live a, a very better life. Not only Ghanaians, but the whole world as well. So I have a lot to do and I pray to God that it helps me to achieve my goal.